Hello YouTube fans, this is the Yak 40 startup procedure. You can also you can also start it up with the control E key. I like to start it up this way. Um, Alright, so here you have the little uh, panel where you can select where you want to go for all the switches. Okay, first switches are these to connect all of the systems. You can also left click, I did right click to uh, turn them all on. Then you can right click to close it. Then the other panel on the other side, this is left click. As you can see, you can select each one. And I can right click and select them all. And then right click to close it. Alright, so we need fuel. Let's connect that before we connect the electrical system. Engine fuel valve opened. These Engine right here. Valve opened. Also those. Uh, this is the battery right there with the inverters. Okay, do shift zero and you get this panel to connect the external electrical power. Close that. Wait for it to connect. Now uh, you can do the procedure by the book or you can do it my way. Whichever is easier for you. Alright, so I just gotta wait for that. And now I put the inverters on. And down will be uh, ground power. So now you have power. All right. So go to the main panel over here. Um, this is for the fire sound alarm. You can turn it on later. And this is for the fuel right here for the APU. Yeah. Turn that on. And then over here you have the APU. Usually it's turned off like that. And then you just turn it on. Okay. Over here, make sure you have pressure. Well, the pressure will be from the APU. All right, and then I just hold on this down for three seconds. APU started engaged. Then you can check over here the APU and the lights. Oil pressure normal. APU started, temperature normal. Now that we have the APU running, we can start engines. So turn the system on. Those two switches and then select an engine. One, two and three. I'll select one. Idle. Air started, pressure OK. Air started on, engine spinning. RPM increasing. Oil pressure increasing. I recorded my own voice. Generator 9, voltage normal. Temperature increasing. Here, starter off. Temperature, oil pressure normal. Net engine started. Okay. Uh, we can go to number three. Water idle. Air starter on. Engine spin. RPM increasing. Oil pressure increasing. Increasing. Oil pressure increasing. 
hydraulic pressure primary and emergency check one. Cool up. Generator one, voltage one. Temperature increasing. Air starter on. Temperature, oil pressure one. Then you can turn off the starting procedure here. Put that in neutral. Okay. As you can see, the APU is still on. Over here, turn it off. You will see right here, and the lights will go off except for the fuel light. You can see down here you have pressure. And now you just switch it off and disconnect the fuel. All right. Over here, these are electrical valves, bleed air. You can put those on. Air conditioning system, air pressure sound alarm. You can put that on. Air pressure system master. These are for the passengers, lights. This is for the stairs. Power for the stairs. And that will open it. Then shift zero. Now this is available. Since the door is open, you can edit if you want a full, um, full aircraft. You can put full 75%, 50 or so on. Equipment, cargo, left tank, right tank. And here it tell you the total weight. An external air starter. That if, if you don't use the APU, you can do external air starter and you can start engines that way. Disconnect the external and switch it over here to battery. I'm going to go outside. So all systems are ready for takeoff. And let's see here, uh, the pedestal. This is for the reverse. So you right click to make it available. This is for the flaps. Right click. This also is on. As you can do that. And that will just reset. So it's all set to go. That's it, you're ready for takeoff. Okay, just one thing. Um, to get this on the screen, you just hit this right here. Just left click. And you have it available. So you can go around the cabin, left, right. Alright, so that's it.